Mark another one sold. My God, I tell you what, YouTube, I had a little side hustle buying $600,000 cars and then flipping them. YouTube has really helped out with my side hustle right here. Just made me a thousand dollars on this deal. 84 C10. Of course, uh, you know, it, this truck wasn't listed. He don't mess with Facebook. And uh, he didn't want no one coming there and messing with him. Told me if I sold it, what he'd do for me. I was like, I'll sell it. I listed it. Uh, it's not even been a week. This thing's got 80. If you listen to the other video, it's got 80. Uh, 6,000 miles. Jim has not put 100 miles on it, and he is the second. No, we just looked, put the miles down. <laughs> I said not even 100 miles. It's more like not even 10 miles. I think he's like eight few miles he's put on since he owned this. He bought it off the original owner. All he did was put Willwood disc brakes on the back, um, which is, you know, got away with the uh, drum brakes. Uh, it's got one repaint on it, one little small rust hole on the front fender, and then right here, on the uh, on that door, as you shown it, wood. Hey, your look. You let him know. I don't know if he's too close back or not in that little spot right there. He's gonna make. He's gonna send me pictures. He's gonna make this a show truck. This is gonna be a show truck, uh, and it ain't gonna take much to make it a show truck. If you looked up underneath it on that last video I did of this. You'll see what the underneath of it like. I'm all, I wanted to get a video before I, then you send me a picture of it when it's a show truck and I'm gonna post it. Uh, he's gonna have this at the car shows next to you. Hey buddy, you win awards with it being pretty original. Even being repaint once, you know, that's still pretty original truck. And I, if I remember right, did he have problems with it when he first got it and had a they replaced the engine or something gm did yeah like uh he uh the original owner went back and had they replaced the whole engine in it. I, I don't know how many miles on it because you can tell there's some miles on it since then mm -hmm. but so it's not really got eighty six thousand miles on the motor right uh, he took it back to he took it back to where he bought it and had it done, wasn't it? He, he took it to GM. And had it done. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's like bring almost ten thousand dollars cash and meet me out this gravel road that you never been before. Two guys you never met. And the guy's like, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, I, I tell you, I buy, I have doubts on those trips. Hey, these are good people right here. Where are you guys out of? I never did ask. Okay, I get so, you told me, I get so many. If you look, I got 43 listings. I got, I don't know how many, I know at least, I answered at least eight people. I don't know how many messages on this. I'm going Mark sold. If you could, when you get home and everything, if you like the deal, would you, would you give me a, a good review and then i'll turn around and do that because like yeah. i was telling you i got you know three wow. points something where guys beat me down because i talk to them and they say i'm too high on price but uh well, for the shape this is in, i think it's fair no oh I mean, it's, jim ask jim uh we's gonna leave it up we's gonna take everything down uh and then start again this spring we's gonna fix some little things we told you about and detail it and uh 10 fives what we's gonna and not take less than tens what he's gonna do this spring right. and you know you know, because the way you've seen it, I was like, if somebody's interested in it, the way they've seen it, it looked, you know, good. I don't need to lean, pull stuff, you know what I mean? But I know whatever Jim tells me is a, is a word, so I go on what he tells me. And plus what I've seen. He wanted to buy it before I even seen the video of it. He was a serious buyer, Jim, before I even seen the video of it running underneath or pulled out, you know? He wanted to come look at it and get it, and I was like, well, let me, let me, you know, I want, don't want to waste your time. Does that guy look 46? Guy's 10 years younger than me. I thought he was like 30, 31. Somebody ain't been doing, somebody's been living a good clean life. I like that red bed. Yeah, you know that a show? I really, I don't know what you're going to do, but them straps all cleaned up and that wood stained. Ooh, dang, that would look good. It'll get cleaned up. He didn't load much in here, as you can tell by the sides and the back. Like I said, if you have any question. 
I'll you get a hold of me, like if you just want to know something, and Jim will Jim will tell you what he knows, or he can ask Pinky's why. Okay. But yeah, how many people you have asked you for about this truck until recently, Jim? All kind of people come down there. So when I parked it for sale, Jim said he wasn't selling that truck, and I said he just changed his mind a couple months ago because he brought in that 34, that 29, and that Thunderbird just in the last month. So he's like, you know, I got to get ready. counter ride, I come out, uh, come out that ride now. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> usually cash. If it didn't, somebody joined the view, didn't they? Hey, Jim. Hey. Usually cash deals on a gravel road in Meigs County ain't do, ain't to do with trucks, is it? Yeah. Or vehicles, huh? Not in Meigs County. <laughs> like Jim, he owns a Rolls Royce. He's probably never seen drugs in his life. <laughs> and here in Meigs County, they're well known for their uh, actual too. Man, they, your buddy is going right at it. What's your name? Oh, uh, my name's Caitlin. Caitlin is going right at it, Caitlin. I love to see. YouTube channel is Yeah, yeah. Um, I got a Facebook page and a YouTube channel. I should have gave me. I'll give you decals. Junk Car Willie. Like Junkyard Junk Car Willie. Yeah, check it out. We just passed 15,000. I started three years ago. It's just. You know, amateur stuff. I just put it up. You know what I mean? I don't like really go to it. And uh, there's a, uh, I think I just passed 15,000 subscribers, 5.6 million views on YouTube. On Facebook, we took off. We was viral. Uh, they say a million views is viral week. We was doing 3.2 to a million views a day on Facebook, Junk Car Willie. And I'm proud to say I have the largest junkyard group on Facebook in the world. It's called Old Junkyards Facebook, and we've got guys, there's, since I started three months ago, it went crazy, and there's like 50 over small junkyards, three to 600, all the way from California that post their content on there, so you just gotta dig down in there, like if you're finding something, projects, so, so if you want to share that stuff, I'd appreciate it, but uh, yeah, check it out. Yeah, you never would have found it if it wasn't for me. Jim don't do social media. Jim, you know what I mean? And like he's been, you know, for years, he said he didn't want to sell it. And uh, like I got to wean the people out. You know, I don't want tire kickers. That's why I was, I, you know, me and him talked. I was like, I don't want to waste your time. I don't want my time wasting. Yeah. But when he said he's bringing a trailer, I was like, cool. But we had a guy two weeks ago said he was bringing a trailer for that. We got a monster truck down there, right? Because he needed a bigger trailer. He's gonna bring. And when he didn't bring the trailer in, I thought, ah, oh, this guy's. Yeah. He, he just he ain't gonna drive that home. <laughs> but you can ask him. It was a monster truck. If you look on my videos, you'll see it down in there. But he thought it. He thought he's like, yeah, I'm good. I was like, you can't get it legal. It's uh like nine foot high. You know what? It's like like the bottom of the doors right right here. <laughs> Yeah, like I told him, any question, Jim knows the original owner, so that's pretty cool. It's like buying off the original owner. He bought off his buddy, it died, off the wife. Oh, hey, guys, I'm going to let these guys go, because believe it or not, this young boy right here has a 17-year-old boy. I thought he was in early 30s, 46-year-old man. That's what happens, kids, when you don't do drugs and you live a clean life. You look that good. Well, I'm too young to know. Just sold the 29 Model A body. I bought it this spring. Never moved it from where I bought from and uh, sold it to good old Rick here. What's your first name? Rick. That's what I thought. I've, I've been so wrong so far. He got a hold of me. I'm so tired. Not, if people sell a marketplace, you guys know 90% of it's bullshit. Uh, he says it's interested. I said, I got an $800 offer. No. I, I don't remember saying no, but here he came with cash. Didn't try to beat me down. I, well, I'm doing a video on this. I like this. Uh, um, I took a picture of his grandson from a pickup truck. And uh, so I was trying to remember who he was when he said he knew me. But he's going traditional with this. He's got a 57, 283. And that's so much better than putting this on the S10. You know? He's going to go model A frame. He's going to do an old hot rider. And I said, you know, like he was building it in the 70s. And he goes, no, like I was building it in the late 50s. So it's going to be really cool. Um, and the thing about it is original paint. He's going to clean it up. He's doing a lot of things that I wish I did. And, and what Jim would have did if you built it, huh, Jim? Yeah. Yeah, once I looked at the S10 frames, I noticed how the front end, you know, the wheels sit underneath. I didn't notice all that stuff, you know, that's... They they just don't look right if you have fenders on them, but if you leave fenders off, but right here makes it a little bit rare. Uh, I didn't even know these things had a bend. I've been telling everybody no because 
they tell me it's on the engine and the frame. But this is a Briggs body. And uh, you guys can look it up, which I'll look it up and probably it's like, oh man, I sold that too cheap. But we knew it. He showed me it was Briggs. I mean, I, it ain't no, uh, like I told the guy, we just sold the trucks this morning. If he, if he took it home and sold it for, uh, made $7,000 and posted, I'd be happy. If this guy takes us up the road and makes $1,000, I'd be well like, good. You can come back and buy more off me since you know you can make money. So I wish you luck with it. Everybody make a little, everybody's happy. On to his new home, Parkersburg, West Virginia. He's going, he's going to send me a, you know, it's, so here this, here this spring, I hope he has it on, you know, a, a frame or something, you know what I mean? And we'll see what happens. Man, I made two sales today, guys. I could do this really good. And I have a... 84 rare Honda scooter Arrow 125 that he made that year sold and three riding lawnmowers that I'm meeting with guys today to sell so Today is going to be a really killer day for sales if they go through As always guys It'd be a boring world if we all the same. We ain't the same Got young old Jim here. He's the boy around here. He's a he's the man that does all the work This young boy this young bird 75 years old 